I was born in Los Angeles, um, right off the Hollywood freeway, uh, Queen of Angels Hospital. I immediately found myself in the fast lane, uh, in the emergency lane, going against traffic, uh, looking for every secret on-ramp and off-ramp. And uh, before you knew it, I knew how to emerge into any situation and how to uh, quickly escape any unexpected uh, situation uh, to avoid any kind of cultural collision. On my first day of school, uh, where I was um, the only student that didn't speak English, and I was taken by the hand by the kindergarten teacher, who brought me to the cupboard, and um, we pulled out a sheet of paper, and I thought it would be my first art lesson. Uh, we started folding it and rolling it in front of the classroom, and, and she taped it and brought out a, a paintbrush and uh, went across it and wrote something on it as she dragged the chair and placed it in front of the class and asked me to sit uh, quietly there and place this cone on top of my head, and it was basically a dunce cap, and it had the word Spanish on it. Around 1972, many events had taken place in my life that were very um, traumatic, very important historically. The things that I had been involved in and the Chicano movement, and I had kind of survived this entire experience of 13 years. And I was also subject at this point uh, as a young man to being drafted. Yet I had learned many different skills, and one of the skills I had learned was a. Uh, uh, how to take a very complex uh, environmental situation and distill it into a very instantaneous, concretized visual image that served as a symbolic message uh, that I could then photograph and then share with other people so that maybe other people around the world would understand that it was possible to have a different take on what the world might be like. Okay, now wait, stop. Now I want you to denounce that it is uh, I think Harry Gamboa's work really reflects uh, Los Angeles in the sense that uh, it's based on a lot of uh, sense of anxiety and angst and uh, paranoia uh, and a sense of uh, kind of discomfort where there's this, this surface calm where everything seems okay but at any moment uh, something terrible could happen and a lot of times it does and I think he, uh, he uses that energy and reflects that energy in the works. It seems like Los Angeles, in order to really save itself, really has to focus on its young people and make sure that they really are educated because it would cause great danger to have a vast population of people that are uneducated and disenfranchised because from that they might become very angry and then they would also be uncontrollable and then the focus would then be only on control and then that's replaced by a group of people that are on, their only job is to control and they're quite often even more dangerous than the people that are out of control.